one of the things I've mentioned in the past is that, and this goes along with the New Apostolic Reformation, Wagner taught that there's going to be a, a transition from pastoral, the pastoral church to apostolic church. We talked about this last week in the 2012 presentation that uh, Peter Wagner did at Chuck Pierce's ministry at Glory of Zion years ago in 2012. And one of the things that he mentioned was the name change, that the name, it would no longer be just a church, it would be an apostolic center. Well, that's what happened with us. It was a hub. And even if you look today at Ryan's model, he created iHubs. So the church went from being called Impact International Church to being called iHub. And, and there were other churches that came under his, and still do, came under and they changed their names of their churches to have iHub in front of their church name. So they were aligning under his apostolic network. They were, uh, they were coming under him and agreeing with his spiritual DNA and coming underneath the vision that he had in order to grow his empire, essentially. But to say that it was apostolic in nature, I'm just going to say this, and it's going to sound really harsh, but this is the, the, the nature of it, and it's the reality. This is not ministry. This is business, is what this is. And again, I'll talk about that as I'm approaching near, near the end of this, as what I talk about personally. Um, but yeah, there was a name change. So it became iHub. And um, there was that uh, apostolic fellowship, which the name chain later changed to tribe um, apostolic network. And so there were stipulations with that. And uh, even with, depending on if you were a junior member versus a senior member, the senior members were required to give more. And senior members, since there was it would appear since they had a financial investment, they were to be called, they were called sons and daughters. And they had more access. Their giving was in correlation to them showing honor to the apostle. So there's that. And I can even, uh, even in some of the, uh, the literature for that as well, that was given to those members in tribe, um, it was noted in there that financial support communicates honor and covenant, referencing Philippians 4 as the church supported Paul's apostolic assignment. And again, this may help you in your own journey in coming out of this and being able to understand some of the language, recognizing some of the concepts, the practices that were put into place, the doctrines, and to see was this new apostolic reformation or was it not? Because the hallmark is the belief that there's modern day apostles and prophets with governing authority. Now, not everybody holds to everything else, uh, all, the, all the things such as seven mountain mandate and the view of signs and wonders and things. There is a lot of overlap, I will say that. Um, but some people are more um, extreme in, in their practices and stuff than others. But that doesn't mean that they're not new apostolic reformation.